in today's video we're going to see how to add a contact form to Joomla using uh, my favorite forms extension, uh, Convert Forms, from Tassos. Uh, hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Washington Work Livestream number 147 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. I've actually already done this introduction once, but I uh, had the stream set so that nobody could see it. So I started over. Sorry for, uh, sorry for being late. Um, yes, so, um, um, yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel here where I show you my tips, tools, and, and favorite extensions for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking for something to work short-term or long-term on your Joomla site, even if you're just stuck, you're looking for something to hire, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. Today's video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, and while you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money, saves me time and money, managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get your first month free. All right, so uh, there's Mary. Um, Oh, thank you, Mary. She said she had time to watch another one of my videos. Good. Yes, on top of this, I had a someone who technically is my client uh, that I had to sort of uh, communicate with uh, just before the stream because they asked me to do some... They came to me from another developer who closed their business years ago. I've done barely anything with them. And they came to me, uh, they asked for something, I did it. And then they said, that's not what they wanted. And they were kind of... I had to deal with them. So, uh, anyways, that happens. All right, so let's uh, let me change my glasses. Let's go to the computer screen here, and what we'll do right off the bat is let me share in chat uh, the um, uh, the link to convert forms. Now, uh, a, a contact form is fairly basic, and um, I've used convert forms to make a contact form. But yesterday, Tassos. Uh, put a um, a printed uh, tutorial on how to do this using convert forms and so I thought one it would be helpful for everybody to be able to uh, have a video to watch if they don't like to read and two I figured if I follow through with steps I will probably learn something too because there's so much in that extension so uh, good activity and uh, we're I'm still working on revisiting last week's topic in the live stream which didn't uh, didn't happen I found out why and the it was probably my mistake so anyways all right, so if you want to check that out, Nelson Fernando Batista Pinzon. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong there, but welcome. Hello from Colombia. All right, so we're going to do this in Joomla 4, and here's a Joomla 4 site where I'm already logged in. But let me give you the step-by-step uh, -step here so that's in the chat replay as well. All right, so how to create a contact form. Uh, we'll skip this part here. Why do you need a contact form? Because you want people to contact you. Uh, one of the things I really like about this extension is that when people submit a contact, uh, submit a form, uh, it's stored on your site. So if you ever had any email problems or accidentally deleted something, you could actually go and read it on, on your site. All right. So, yes, it allows users to contact you easily, help grow your email list, collect additional information. That's also another good point. And... Um, and it's easy to create one. All right, so why don't we install this on extensions here? Uh, he shows the directions here. Extensions, uh, go to extensions, install, and we're going to search for that. So here we are. We go to system, and we go to manage extensions. No, install extensions, and we will go install from web, and we're going to search for convert forms. And let's see, the last form build you ever need, convert forms, there it is. So we'll click on here and we'll click install and it zips us to the bottom, holding us accountable for having read all of that. And we will go and install. All right, let me just uh, sort of open this up in a little window on the other side here. Okay, now once that's installed, we get all this information and now we're going to um, ba, 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 go to components, convert forms, 
and select that. And then we're going to click on new form. I'm following along here just so I don't want to miss anything. Then from the templates, we've got some nice templates to choose from here. We're going to use start from scratch down here in the bottom uh, right. Hopefully, uh, I think, can you see that's hiding behind? Just trust me. It's, yeah, here, watch. Uh, oh, that's just stuck in the middle. Uh, behind my picture, it says start, start from scratch. Okay. And we're going to enter our email address and uh, our name. Okay, this is where we're going to get uh, contact sent to us. So, Tim at cybersalt.com. Oops. Oh, sorry. And here's something that's important. You see what you see the preview here on the right hand side but you put your information on the left hand side in the fields and this is the way that it often is um okay so uh submit button now we're going to go over here and deal with these field fields sorry i'm skipping ahead of myself see this is why uh this is why it's good for me to read instructions and do something because quite often that's how we end up getting lost all right so we're going to uh, add some fields to the form all right uh, but did I convert from here and those two fields are already there great now we're going to add some more fields let's follow through his uh, example here so we keep on track and uh, okay so Therefore, go to Add Field, click on Text Box, and Text Area. Text Box gets added, and let's go back up to, um, uh, uh, let's go back up to add the next field as well. Ah, da, 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 da. Where, are the, where are the fields? Oh, Add a Field tab here, okay. And we're going to go Text Area. Okay, um, now we're going to go back into uh, the text box and we're going to change the field to say subject. So we can actually click here to bring up the text box here and we're going to change the field label to subject. And you'll see that immediately changes on the right hand side here. And then um, on the next, uh, having changed that, uh, okay, da, 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 uh, use subject for text box and message for text area, right? Text area, uh, and we're going to change this to message. Now you will notice that uh, the submit button is in the middle of this form, and we don't want to do, we don't want that. So we're going to go back to design here and let's see if you'd like to rearrange fields placement, go to all fields and drag the fields as per your liking. All right, all fields. Let's find where that is. Do, 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 do. Where's all fields? Oh, all fields, this tab. Oh my goodness. See, I, I hate reading. This is why I do videos. Now we can left click and we can drag submit down to the bottom and it's as nice as that. I really like the control that this, uh, uh, the WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get control that uh, convert forms gives us for making things a certain way. All right, so yes, once we rearrange things, we'll have something that looks like that. Now we're gonna set up an email notification auto responder and to do that we're going to click on the gear basically this is just going to um, uh, email notification when someone has submitted a form email notifications uh, do you want multiple notifications upgrade to pro to unlock it well we're just using the free version right now so we will just use one all right and then in here um, it put in the required details. All right, so this is the send to email address. This is the email set up on the site. These are tags that show submission ideas, ID. So this is all pretty basic and core stuff. If you wanted to change the from email, you could actually type it in there. 
but that's going to use the email that's set up in your global configuration in Joomla. So I'm just going to leave all of that the same. All right. Next, uh, embed the form on the front end. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a shorter tutorial than I ever imagined. Uh, it, the page looks so long with all the words and pictures. All right. Uh, first of all, up at the top here, we're going to save. And there's a little bit of a strange overlap happening up here. But we'll save that. But the next thing is, is that we want to embed this form on the front end of our site somewhere. Uh, before embedding form, go to the new form, provide a title to the form. Okay, let's see. That's up here. This uh, this is very strange that uh, this is overlapping so much here. This is a CSS thing. So, But you'll see up here, just hanging in, underneath the bottom, it says edit form. If I go, uh, if I go F11, full screen, no, nope, same thing happens. All right. F11, we can go up here, we can type in here, and we're going to, we're just going to call this contact form. And there we go. And we can save that. Great. So we've given it a name. And now, again, over here in the top right corner, almost, the top one's almost hidden. There's three dots. If we click on that. We see embed, and we can click embed and we get this code here which is really great for adding a form to a page um, because uh, we're just going to put that in a Joomla article for it all right so we're going to go to the article we want this in now this so let's go to system uh no oh this is the t oh, this is the top menu that we added from folka gallery uh, from folka that's why. And I've changed a few things on the site, so it's possible that I just need to change the CSS there. That's why that's happening. Uh, let's go to the home dashboard, and let's go to content, and we'll add an article here. And I'm going to call this contact us. Contact us. Now, this is the title that I'm giving to the article, even though the form is a contact form. That's just overlap. It's you can name this whatever you want uh, here. In fact, this is this reach out. All right. And we'll add a little bit of text to this article. Um, we are looking forward to hearing from you. And now I go control V and paste those that form there. And we will go save. Now, uh, in order for us to see this on the home page there, I'm going to um, make this a featured page. So when we preview, it's going to, we'll see that form on there. And there is our form. Now, of course, we did an article. So in the article, I would, you know, probably close out written by uh, unpublished author, category, date, hits, and stuff like that. But this is our contact page right here and it is just a lovely basic form and um uh, there you go now why don't we go back and create another form and we will use one of the existing templates and see what that looks like uh so we're going to go to components and contacts and uh don't no, not contacts Look. convert forms we're going to do a new form. Uh, what do we like here? What's the, uh, let's do something that's, the site is in light mode. So let's do, uh, we've got here a sidebar. That would be nice. All right, let's try that. Let's do this light one here. We'll select that and um, enter your, here's what it basically looks like. So we've got a bit of formatting here your email. It already says sign up, so we don't need to change that. Let's add a field. So let's add the text box. And we will right away call the field label uh, subject. You don't need to have this. Uh, you could just have a text thing, but subject uh, is always nice to receive. 
and now we can go to back to add fields and we'll go to text area and we're going to call this message all right go back here and sorry all fields no sign up text box uh oh this is oh this is sign up this is actually the um this is actually a submit button, isn't it? Yes, yeah, submit button, but the text is sign up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna move sign up there. Um, now, even though this is for signing up for something, I'm gonna change it to be a contact form and uh, easily doing that, I'm uh, just gonna go submit. All right, now we've had some lorem ipsum here in this field. So if we click on, let's go all fields. Let's see, enter your email subject message. How are we gonna find where to change that? Hello, Michael. Oh, and you were looking at this form builder today. Good, yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, it's very user friendly. Um, as people can see with me sort of uh, stumbling around looking for things, uh, I'm finding things. The next thing is, is uh, where is this image? And where is this text? It's not here. No. It's probably in design. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We have a box from the template diamond sidebar. Custom. The background color. So if we wanted to change the background color to red, we could do that there. All right. And then we have the options here to uh, background image source. Uh, we could use background image, that's cool. So many things to do with this. Now here's the text message here, let's do this. Uh, we are looking forward to hearing from you, exclamation mark. And let's fix the E there. And I think that's going to change it. Yeah, look at that, changes it right there. We even have, for our convenience, a nice little editor here. We can go bold. We are looking forward. Oh, forward. And we'll hit enter, uh, shift enter. And uh, when we tab out of there, change happens. We even have, we have the options of bold here. We also have the option of um, uh, how big we're making it. And super nice, look at this you have the option to put HTML in there as well. So if there was something that this particular um, uh, text editor would not allow you to do, doesn't have functionality for it possibly, you can just uh, make come up with some CSS and dump it in there. And that is super nice. Verholstroni, hello from Belgium, hello back to you. Good to have you here. All right, now let's see. Uh, box, da, 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 da. I wonder where this image is coming from. I don't think it's, is it this one here? No. Huh. Let me do a little cheating thing. F12 brings up Chrome Element Inspector. I'm going to look to see where it lives. Images, oh, it's in Images Convert Form, so it's something that's in there but how do we change it here oh look at this scroll further down image do 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 <laughs> okay uh image source you can uh one that's been uploaded you can put a custom url or if you don't want an image you can just go no but we do want an image so let's we'll go back to this one and we can also select other images oh here's other images available in convert forms nice right there also, uh, you could upload more to this little place. And this is an images convert forms. This is the image manager in Joomla. If we want to go back to images, we just click on images and we could use something that was uh, in another folder. For instance, something from Cassiopeia. Now this is a super wide image. So let's see what happens if I select something crazy wide. All right, super wide. We're going to see when we embed this, how that works out. Uh, right, so we're going to tab out of there. Uh, get out of the image here. We have, look, alt image for SEO. 
Uh, you can make this responsive, hide it on smaller screens. Cool. Now it's getting wrapped in a little spot there. Oh, look, we can set the width here. I'll tell you, uh, you get using some extensions from some developers and you just realize, oh my goodness, I like the way that they think. Uh, so look, if we want to change that width of that image, we could go to, let's say, 250. There we go. What if I go 500? Oh, that's horizontal position. That's all right. What if I go 5? Oh, yeah. So then it just gets jammed in there regardless of the size. Okay, so it is wrapping in there. All right. Anyways, we'll stick with 250. Vertical position. Horizontal position. Let's see. Uh, if we go 50 pixels. Oh, we can add a little padding there. And if we want, we can put a little bit padding there to bump it down over the text but that looks terrible look at all the controls we have here for doing what we want to do um, form the position of the form look at this bottom right uh, okay yeah now of course this is I selected this one because it's for a column and for that we're uh, uh, I want to do this so that we can put it in a column and show you how to do that all right, so we don't want the form position right. We want it bottom. Great. Fields. Uh, look, we can change the field background color, the text color in the fields. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are not um, accessible compatible. Accessibility compatible. Uh, Michael says he's working on his Joomla 4 uh, demo site and brazing forms from Crosstech doesn't seem to be working well though it's great on Joomla 3 okay yeah they maybe they're uh, uh, you know just last night Joomla 3.10.5 and uh, Joomla 4.0.6 I think it's 6 uh, came out and I noticed in Joomla 4 there was just uh, lots of bugs that had been fixed so uh, a lot of things are still very fluid moving over to uh, Joomla a Joomla 4, but uh, hopefully they, hopefully Brazing Form sorts that out. Um, if if there are things, anyways. So um, horizontal padding. Oh look, we can even put a shadow on there. You know, I like. I just give me buttons and toggles and fields. Uh, advance the form footer. Oh look at this. This is the footer. A tab out of there. Oh, look at that. We can even put something under the submit button. So you could put something like uh, in there, um, your privacy, a privacy note or a thank you, or uh, you know, we'll take a, we'll try to respond within 24 hours. Very cool. Very cool. And then of course you can do custom CSS and custom code in the footer. Whoa, my goodness. And class suffix. All right, well, why don't we save this? Because what we're going to see, we saw the last time, is that uh, the view more and the uh, embed, here's form number two. Um, that'd be great to have a little button here just to click to copy. That'd be a neat little thing. And so we can go back to content articles. Let's open a new tab and let's go to reach out. And really all we need to do in this case is go to. And when we refresh the page here, of course, this is all very ugly for me playing around. Here it is. Now that's not really, doesn't look really great because we, I picked a template that is for a, a, a side column or something like that and uh, so let's take a look at a few options for adding forms to um, to a column here all right so let's go back into here and we're going to go to uh, site modules here they all are and I want to see um, what have we got? We have sidebar right for the main menu here. Okay, main menu, great. So let's make a new module. 
And let's see, is there a, a convert forms module? Why, yes, there is. So we're going to add that. And we're going to choose. Uh, oh, we're going to choose from the two that we've made. Now, I didn't rename it. So right now, here's something really cool. Uh, you know, because information is stored in the database, this is not this is not set by the name, but actually by the mo by the form number, which in this case is two in the database. So watch what I can do. I can select this, and we're going to put this in sidebar. Sidebar right. I think this is so. Oh, there's two module positions here. We'll see. And uh, contact us. Watch this. Contact us. All right. So if I go save and refresh, I saw it flicker. There we go. The contact us is down here. And look, it fits in nice on the side. But what I wanted to show you is this. If we go back to this form up here, just up at the top here, and uh, change the name to uh, side contact form we go save check this out we go back to the module and we just just save because I need to refresh this page but look now here's the form is side contact form so if you ever miss naming something don't worry about breaking things elsewhere un un unless it's uh, for instance there was a modules anywhere from regular labs you could in you can embed based on on the module's title all right so if you, it's possible but in this case it was not a problem uh and then we can refer oh why don't we do this too let's save and close let's view the order remember in viewing the order this arrow here always points to where the top of the order is all right so in this case the top is at the top if we click one more time the top of the order is down at the at the bottom. I know it sounds confusing, but you'll see here convert forms is at the bottom, which we have, can see over here below the login form. But login forms probably assigned to something else. Uh, convert forms is uh, that's uh, modules. Oh, there's already there was already one installed. But I made another one. Here it is, contact us. So if I want to move that, okay. If I want to move that contact us up to say, mm -hmm, let's see. Uh, the top of, um, what's going on here? Let's see here. Main menu filter. Okay, we've got this filter here. Let's search what's going on here. Filter, oh, is assigned to sidebar right. This is odd because uh, just what I said about those, oh yeah. Login form is at the bottom. Uh, is this mess mixed up? Oh, interesting. You know what? This arrow is pointing down. Have they changed this in Joomla 4? Because with this arrow, this nor. All right. Uh, I'm I need to filter this. I'm uh, just reading Michael's comment. Sure, breezing has always been good for complex forms on Joomla 3. You remembered this convert forms when Tassels demonstrated on the live stream. Great. Uh, yeah. Hey, look at this. Has this changed? I might have a I might have a maintenance Monday thing to point out. Uh, let's see here. All right. I'm going to filter by the position, which is sidebar right. All right. Let's lock that in. So on the sidebar right, we have sorting by order. All right. Contact us, main menu, filter, login form. 
And then over here we have main menu, filter, contact us, login form. That's that's not login form is at the bottom. Isn't that peculiar? Something is off on this order here. Now maybe all right, let's say this. This is at the top. Let's move main menu so it's at the top. Let's uh, have contact us second. Let's have login form here. All right. Yeah, maybe it is the cache, Mary. I was just wondering that. Uh, but no, it moved. Main menu, login form, filter, contact us. Yeah, changing the order here. Huh. Yeah, maybe it is. Control Shift R. Let's force a reload. In fact, let's do. Yes, isn't that peculiar? All right. Well, let's go down to System. Open a new tab. I don't think you have caching on here. Uh, clear cache. I have no clear cache. Huh. Let's open. Uh, let's open Chrome browser where I've never been yet with this. And let's take this uh, URL here and put that in there. No, interesting. I wonder, there's a mystery. Because this is the order, main menu, contact us, login, filter. It's not even, uh, main menu is not even in the same order that's on here. So this is not anything to do with the contact us form. This is uh, our, our module that we just created. Um, this is also a. Uh, uh, this is alt. Uh, this is something else. It's very weird. Let's go home. All right. Well, let's uh, let's troubleshoot this for a little bit. Now I noticed when I went to sign positions it says below uh side the positions here below top breadcrumbs sidebar right but in the module itself let's go in here let's clear this filter here let's see if any other positions show up uh no in the module itself we can do this in any module by the way, uh, I've been working with uh, Jan on uh, my mistake last week in the live stream was apparently I had the Joomla 3 version installed somehow on the, on the site here, which is why the uh, remember why the um, the um, wizard the setup wizard at the beginning wasn't working. So, uh, anyways, I've been working with him. We'll we'll be revisiting that topic soon. Uh, but yeah, check this out. If we go to this, contact us. If I take out all the um, uh, there's sidebar right and sidebar right here, this seems ah uh, I you know I don't know I don't know why this sidebar right here is, this is I th oh well, I don't know that's just the why did I I'm gonna change that and save it. And we're going to go home and we're going to refresh. No, and now if we filter by sidebar right, those things show up. So I don't know why. Um, maybe it's something that I've done along the way here, just typing that in. Uh, let's turn filter off and refresh. Of course, that's showing up there, but that's because we also embedded that form. And um, I just um, 
phone call from my phone. Turn that off. Uh, it's probably just someone wanting to arrest me. One of those scams. Um, da -da -da -da. Search disappeared there, but what if I just move contact us for the first time up so that second? Oh, that moved it. Now, oh, you know what? So maybe, maybe there was some strange caching thing here where because I had never moved that into a position, it was not getting sorted properly. Interesting. Um, let's just try this here. New, uh, let's make a new, just, um, Let's make a new custom module and let's uh, test. We'll add this to sidebar, right? Test and we'll save and close. All right. So now in the order, it shows that test is first. Does that change here? Ah, see test ends up second. Aha, but all right. So, that means if I drag test down to after the main menu, then it goes up to the top and the main menu goes to the bottom. Yikes. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Main menu, test contact us test content and main menu goes down there isn't that weird all right so I'm gonna hit this twice here oh main menu did go down something hinky is happening here in this ordering here interesting because now main menu go to the top And uh, this, yeah, so this is probably a little bug. Uh, main menu test contact us login form. Isn't that ent interesting to see? And okay, so it looks like in Joomla 4 right now, if you add a module, the order is uh, the ordering here that shows up just if you're filtered by that isn't necessarily accurate. Now, of course, in modules, so you actually have to do some manually moving around to get things the right way. That's interesting. All right, so uh, that means um, if we go into contact us, there's also going to be a place position sidebar ordering here. We could put this last. Oh, that's that's behind my picture, by the way. Sorry. Uh, the ordering is just behind my picture here. Uh, let's see. Let me just change. Let just make me disappear for a little bit. All right, you see back here. I changed the ordering. I put it to number four. Now, if we refresh, it drops to the end. All right. That means, all right, let's just, uh, let's close this. Let's do another test. Uh, I don't know if you hear my granddaughter in, in the background. Um, my daughter and son-in-law and their family have a couple of, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of rooms painted at their house. So they're living with us for a couple of days. So we have grandkids here for a while, a couple of days, which will be fun. Uh, one's a seven month old, so he doesn't go over many places. Anyways, let's make another custom module. Uh, uh, test two, another test. And let's go to uh, da -da -da -da, sidebar right. Let's save. All right. So the ordering it defaults it looks like to first it says main menu no it goes to it's set up to be after main menu a second all right so that's just refresh all right but when we go to close this and the order is shown test two shows at the top now if i sort and then sort Oh, look at that. Test 2 still shows at the top. Interesting. So then, even though over here, it's second. So this is not necessarily refreshing. Now, 
Oh, let's see. What if I refresh this page here? No. Oh, this is very interesting. All right. Uh, so if I drag test down to where it goes, go up here and refresh. Look at that, and it bumps main menu down. Okay, so this is a bug. This is a bug. All right, because now I can, uh, e let's see if I just click this and release it. No, I actually have to sort this. Then that sorts properly. And then main menu goes down. And uh, then we move it to the top. And it works. Well, there you go. I found a bug in Juma 4. Or something that's buggy. Interesting. Uh, Alright, but anyway, so there's our contact form in the side. You know what we could... Uh, what we could also have done for adding a module, one of these WYSIWYG module, uh, what uh, custom modules, we could actually just go uh, Control V and paste our form in there and save, and we could go refresh, and it will still show up the same. Uh, oh, oh, it doesn't. Oh, interesting. You can't put the tag in there. Now there's probably something in the module. that um oh, okay that's interesting too you can't um uh you can't just put a, a plug-in in there yet now if uh, regular labs i'm not sure if modules anywhere is something that shows up there maybe there's another way to Advanced. That oh, okay. Let's check advanced layout module. Yeah, I was wondering in advanced is there some way module style? Yeah, I was looking for a tag to uh, or for a setting to process content. Oh, pre-prepare content. Ah, let's try that. Thank you, Michael. I think that's it. Refresh. There we go. Nice. So, uh, in the options, pre-prepare content. So, the Joomla content plugins will be pre-prepared and then inserted before that. Yeah, pre-prepare. Oh, pre-prepare. Pre-prepare? I'm saying it wrong. Let's see, pre-prepare. Uh, what is it? Make something. Oh, prepare. Oh, pre-prepare. Prepare. Duh. <laughs> pre-prepare. Pre-prepare. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, like, English is basically the only language I speak, so. <laughs> yeah, prepare content and that will work. But, of course, um, you know, and, and here's the deal with this. It used to be that if you were just putting in a in a form and you didn't have a lot of options, you just had the form, then what you could do is you could uh, put some other content here. And if you want it, you could do things like, uh, you know, you could create links. You could put in an image if you wanted. You'd have it all here, right? All right we could do this. We could, um, let's go here. We go CMS content media you know we could just put this yeah we could put that in the in there insert it and basically you would do your formatting and you would save that and then this is a way to add things other than just the form because uh the, some joomla extensions uh just give you what you need you have a form, it's just a form. You don't have the bells and whistles like to have an image at the top and to have other things, uh, you know, text like we have seen. 
Um, but the great thing is, is that we've seen that uh, if you just select the form as you want, then that's exactly how what you get. Uh, if you use the if you create a contact mod a uh, uh, contact forms module, then you're just getting what you have. And of course, if you want to use this uh, this look consistently everywhere, then you would have um, you would just change this in one place. Though, if you want to have different text in different places and use the same contact form, that's definitely a certain uh, definitely a method that we could use that you can use. All right. Well, I've really butchered this site now. Uh, let's go. All right. So, um, options. Yeah, we've seen that. This is our contact form there. And uh, good. So, we'll close out of here. And we have our two here. Now, what do we have over here? This is. Uh, this probably shows the group that it's available to. This shows what? Let's click on this box here. Convert. Oh, look at that. Um, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Right from the list of forms, we can go ahead and add a module right away. An action. Nice. And then this is to do what? Oh, this copies the short form. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. So if it's like, oh, I want to put that contact form on a page somewhere, you just go to it, you look at what you want, you say, hey, I want this one here, and it copies the code. And uh, that is very cool. What options do we have here with convert forms? Load the style sheet. For the extension, oh, that you can disable to place your own styles in some other style sheet. Nice. Show copyright. All right. So if, if you want to turn the copyright off, of course, if you're using the free version, why not put it on there? Debug. So in order to help you see what errors, are unexpected behavior, and in the main area, if you want to know that there's an uh, com uh, an update available for it. Yes, well, let's look at security. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this secret key is used to authenticate critical tasks such as cron jobs and the JSON API. If you leave it empty, all tasks will require user authentication. All tasks require user authentication will be disabled. Uh, use the Joomla CRSF token. Add an extra protection layer to your forms by verifying all AJAX requests with a CSRF token. Uh, if you enable this and you're using cache mechanism, it caches the whole output of the page, such as Joomla page cache plugin, or server side caching, such as Cloudflare, did it, you may face troubles with the form. All right, so I don't know what those are, but uh, there you go. And Excel security, if enabled, values in the CSV exported file starting with A equals plus da, 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 will be prefixed by tab to avoid CSV injection. Hello, Stein Jonah. Welcome to the stream. You're in South Africa. Good to have you here. I have a friend in South Africa in, in Johannesburg that uh, posted some pictures of a beautiful full moon that you guys had uh, the picture taken i believe it's is it table rock that overlooks uh it's escaped me now but uh and also you know what uh you know i was thinking this the other day i was watching the story in australia about uh, the the uh tennis player who uh whether they're gonna let him compete or not and there were protests in the street and people talking and i noticed it was so nice and sunny and warm summer where you are it's winter where I am, although I it's pretty mild on the west coast of Canada. So it's it's the anyways, it's the war the warmest place in Canada usually in the winter time is on the west coast. But like today we're like maybe eight degrees. But anyways, uh, this is nice for the Excel security because you can export uh, the submission records, and this is um, making sure that. Um, 
uh, that you don't get a hack from someone submitting something possibly. Advanced, enable output override. Enables the extension rendering when the page layout temple is over an example. Okay, enable on format. Enables the extension rendering when the page format is not other than HTML. You have one of the wettest summer in years, which is cool for summer. Yeah, and you guys have been really short. I know you've had a drought for a number of years. Here's where we put the recapture in, the site key, secret key, if you're doing two or invisible. H captcha. I saw a huge, a big, big site the other day that's using H captcha. Like something big like either Amazon or some big shopping site or I don't know what it was uh, but uh, H captcha is um, is an alternative to Google recaptcha uh, in fact I've never really looked much at it and um, I think there's I think the uh, privacy things that they I think the information they collect is much less um oh thinking more of a honeypot trap yeah um let's try that to convert forms honeypot oh let's see here tassel says here and this is from November 29th, 2019. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, gear here, enable anti-spam honeypot. Ah, let's go back and check that out. Um, let's close these settings. Where did we find that? Enabled by uh, every single form. Let's see if that carries through. It's in the gear. Behavior. Oh, there you go. Under under behavior, you, uh, anti spam honeypot is already enabled. Yes, it's yes. As yeah, let's see that in the in the text there now. Um, it says it's built in. Okay, enable the field to form which uh, da, 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 that way. You automatically know that the user that way when the honeypot field is filled out. Oh, right. Okay, so yeah, that's really cool. Honeypot is um, so they put a field in there, and if the spam, if the if the form gets submitted with that field full, they know it was a bot that did it. Nice, and then. Um, uh, there you go. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, you can add PHP scripts in here, which uh, possibly is uh, when when they're going to be run, prepare, display, process, or after the form is submitted. That would be for an advanced form. Email notifications. Now, this particular form, we didn't turn that on. Yeah. A message letting you know attachments conditional fields oh and conditional fields that's sort of an advanced thing that's in the pro we saw that in his demonstration um you said uh, uh michael says uh, it's built in you see great correct something that took a bit if setting up and breezing oh okay so it's you're saying it's easier here than in breezing forms PDF form submission, that's something for uh, like the generate customizable PDF based on the user submitted data that can be automatically sent by email or displayed as a link. That's nice. Someone fills out a contact form and then it is sent as a PDF, which is probably nice. Because you know when you get the when you get a, a con what's submitted in a contact form by email, it's not very pretty. Uh, it's fine for me, but uh, you might like to spiff it up and forward that on to somebody as a um, as a PDF. So that's in the pro version. Lots. It's such a nice extension. 
Such a very nice extension. All right. So, uh, there we go. We added two contact forms. Now, uh, what else is going on in your world or Joomla world? Anything you want to talk about or show off? You have a new uh, site that you're working on or, or something? Uh, let's just hang out for a while. I am going to... Um, I'm going to call to uh, da, 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 uh, system. Yeah, there's a lot of really, I really like it, Michael. I really like the features that are in here. Let's go to uh, manage site modules. Let's just clean this up just a teeny bit here. I lock this out here. Let's close this. Let's close that. All right, I'm going to take test two module and test and contact us. I'll just, uh, I, I'll leave the contact one on sidebar right and we will go. Although, did I make it ugly? Let's see. Let's do the action here and trash it and we'll refresh. Yeah, that's all right. It doesn't look too bad. And I will um, go to articles and we will take out the reach out article. And uh, also another thing I've been working on was the autosave. Remember that plugin XP autosave? Um, I was trying it the other day. It's, it's out for Joomla 4, but I couldn't get it. To, it wasn't working. So uh, that's something else I was working on for just a Maintenance Monday video. Let's uh, trash this. And, uh, oh, and I was also trying to get a really cool SVG to work on, uh, uh, on uh, for a video as well. I ran into, I was super, super late with Maintenance Monday. I pretty much do a Monday night now anyways, but, um, I was going to, um, um, yeah, I tried a few things, but I couldn't get them to work. I just noticed something there in the action. Uh, batch is now there. It used to be at the top. Okay, cool. Yeah, Michael says he thinks it'll be a long time before you you convert your existing sites to J4. Uh, yeah, I've been watching. Let me just uh, chat on right here. I have a couple of sites, some big sites that I am watching for when to move things over. I, I'm looking forward to moving things to Juma 4 because uh, I just notice it so fast. Uh, one of my sites, uh, and I, you know, that one of my biggest long time old messiest used to be HTML site from the 90s that's been to, uh, been to Mambo, Joomla, Joomla 1, 1 1.5, 2.5, 3. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it into 4. Um, and, uh, I think it's just a matter of playing around with, um, uh, just, just looking and, and the time to work on it. Uh, but I do have a couple of large sites for clients that I manage and I am watching. Uh, one has a massive, uh, Kunina form on it. So I've been watching to see when Kunina is going to be J4 compatible. They're working. I think they're working on a beta the, the last time I looked. I could be wrong where they're at now. Um, but um, that's a must in order for switching them over. I'm super excited to switch them over because there's going to be a speed boost there. Um, and they really like a dark template. I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try to do them in Cassiopeia. Um, but that will be something um oh look at oh so mary has five joomla 4 sites and you really like it and mary is helping with bugs on kunena beta excellent may your tribe increase mary um yeah so I'll, you know what what i have noticed too is uh amongst I don't want to say the big Joomlaers, but amongst the people you see a lot in forum and, and the people that are speaking at the Joomla user groups and that, a lot of them, there's a renewed interest in working with the core. Um, there's so much stuff in Joomla 4. I mean, Joomla 3 is great. There's so many things in it. 
Um, but uh, let me just change this a little bit here. I'll sit in the middle of the screen. Juma 3, there's so many things in it, and it's that's really great. Um, it's awesome. But uh, so all that, and then going into Juma 4 and the other things. Um, so a lot of people are looking at trying to do things just in Cassiopeia because it's so fast. That said, um, I'm still uh, I'm still looking to settle on a template creator or framework um, to really go with um, as an option for when I want to do things easily or for people working on their own page or stuff like that. But um, uh, I'm still holding out to see what happened with Asteroid. One one site that forked Asteroid or took it over is continuing to develop it. Uh, there's another one that uh, I know is in the works and I'm just not sure which way I'm going to go on that uh, with one or I haven't really decided. So I'm just leaving it up in the air. Uh, yes, a lot of people love Utheme. Um, and uh, SP Page Builder is really seeing a lot of that uh, on, on uh, talk about that. Uh, Michael says he likes J4 a lot, but you got comfortable with three and its extensions. I I hear you. If you guys, when you guys watch me uh, move around, there's a little bit slowness because I just don't, you know, I just don't have that what I call that muscle memory for being able to just move and find and do things. It's just firing my brain, but. Uh, but it, you know, and it's great. It's it's there as much as I'd like to have uh, every you know I'd like to have everything in Joomla four working because then I could just uh, focus on one thing. But um, well, Mary says she has uh, SP Page Builder, but it's too buggy for you. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will take your word for it. Uh, as 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 expression of your experience because i i've not really been using many other frameworks i did try ck uh template builder that that mary really likes and uh just a little bit that i did with it so far i can say oh yeah this is a system that you could figure out and get in the flow of um but i've not been doing much um uh much in that way uh as we continue to visit here i did hire someone I uh, mentioned this in my um, plans for success for 2022 live stream at the end of last year uh, with funding from the provincial government and federal government uh, here in my, so the federal government in Canada and my province, British Columbia, I have hired a co-op student who's working 16, uh, working uh, 30 hours a week for 16 weeks and the, and my governments are paying for it. So I've uh, just started training uh, Gurnur and uh he's uh i've got him going on my guru um he is wants to learn how to make web pages and uh and so he has some html experience and css experience but nothing with uh with uh, joomla or wordpress and uh already so he started on monday and already this week he's been going through my and catching up on a lot of the security settings that need to be set and that is uh, that is really really great. I'm enjoying that. So uh, Michael says he picked up SP Page Builder after losing Joom Dev. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, here's uh, you know, this is only a mini rant. I like to keep things positive on here, and I understand. I understand it. Uh, there are people that have taken on over Asteroid. Um, framework i don't know about jd builder i think jd builder there's still someone considering it but um yeah it's the lack of information drives me nuts because it uh, it seems generally not a hundred percent so if this offends anyone out there then obviously it's it, it's not the case with you unless you really lack self-perception but it seems to me that the better you are at programming the worse you are or the poorer you are at promotion. Um, yes, the better you are at the uh, at the program, the worse you are at promotion. So, uh, which is encouraging in one sense, because the one one group that has uh, uh, 
uh, forked asteroid framework. I, I just I see nothing. I see nothing. No information about it. Um, no tweets. No not nothing promoting it. Um, so I'm thinking they're probably pretty competent programmers. Uh, of course, there's overlap. Now the truth is the truth of is probably there. Generally, if you're good at promoting things, you're probably not a good programmer. <laughs> Case in point, me. Uh, I don't. I, you know, I, I, I think I'm pretty good at promoting things, but uh, as far as programming things, you know, that's not that's not happening. Yes, and Michael, Michael says yes. You're still working with Bootstrap in an effort to get away from page builders. Yeah, yeah. I would like in a perfect world. I would. Well, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, my staff of many would uh, not be using page builders but would just be building in core and be nice and fast and we'll see if it gets gets there so i thought about having grenur on to um uh on on a stream just to interview him uh but i don't i don't i don't know if that's abusing your employees or not maybe he doesn't want to we'll check and see hey uh well ben najima has subscribed an hour ago, sometime during the stream. So, uh, Whale Ben and Jim, if you are watching, thanks for subscribing. Um, I, I, here, I'll tell you what though, having uh, having Grenur catching up on things that I'm behind on and getting ready for uh, a lot of the fiddly things I'm doing and other projects that maybe I'm gonna pitch uh, has really uh, helped me to start to tidy up some of the clutter in my business and uh, that's already uh, that's already in place too because I have other people working on projects for me too so that's that's encouraging as I've said in the past the uh, the biggest obstacle to my success <laughs> I see every morning in the bathroom mirror it is me um, just because my life experience is very different than um, than the situation that I'm, that I'm in now. So I, if this were the matrix, I would, uh, I would uh, call back to the base and say, I need to run a business, uh, download, um, I can't even think of a business degree, um, MBA, download an MBA in a uh, web agency. And then immediately I would, uh, just like Neil would get in and fly the helicopter. I would, uh, was it Neil that flew the helicopter or, or the other character? Oh, it was the other character, I think. Um, and I don't remember her name, but um, yeah. But anyways, it's all good. Uh, in other news, just to update you, I think a while ago, I, you know how I mentioned that I was going to try, I had done an Indiegogo campaign. Uh, I hadn't done it, but I'd signed up for something at Indiegogo. It was the center cam. I've got it right here. It's been sitting on my desk for months. And basically, this webcam, I'll turn it sideways, you you hang it over the screen, and the camera would be right in the middle, and it would be right in the middle facing you. I'll have it facing you. And then you can work on the screen and look straight at it and uh, not look like you're always off looking at things at the side. So I bought this just sort of on spec. I thought that would be really cool. And it arrived months and months and months ago and I could not get it to do anything close to the video quality of uh, what I, uh, what, of, the, of the demonstration that they showed. And I've changed the lights in my studio, different uh, daylight temperatures. I've done, I downloaded software. I changed all kinds of settings, could not get to work. Then I, so I contacted them through their support twice, never heard back. Uh, then I contacted them through Indiegogo, through the contact, never heard back. And it's like, oh, then anyways, just recently they uh, said, hey, did anyone ever get back to you? We've been having problems with our uh, support system. And uh, I, so I, for the fourth time I told them what was wrong and they just are sending me a new one. So hopefully the next one works and we can, uh, I can, uh, do a bit more of, uh, I can literally have the, the chat in front of me and I can uh, be staring at the screen and, and not always turning off the side here. So on the plus side, I almost think that I could, uh, no, I guess I couldn't. I, I, 
I could use this little this this rig here and put a good webcam right in front of the screen as well. I could take one apart and just I could probably fake it maybe. I don't know. But so new tech coming in that from from that from that perspective. So All right. Well, while we're here, shall we go to system extensions and install and let's see if there's any new Joomla in uh, Joomla 4 let's see what's new telegram button and let's change the computer screen okay all right, let's see what's what we've got new that's here. Um, yeah, put it on the chair and you can look over my shoulder. I have actually thought about adding some other camera angles. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought about adding just the, like having a camera way back here that looks down in the work area. That would be a motivation for me to keep my desk clean. I, I mean, I literally have socks on my desk right here because... Uh, um, yeah, but they, you, could, you could have the chair cam. You might get sick for me uh, swinging back and forth, though. But uh, and and literally down here, this is paper I need to take walk over to the recycling bin or, and also shred. All right, IWS by Telegram button. Let's see. Let's uh, let's see what is this here. IWS dot by Telegram button. A module adds a floating Telegram button to the site by clicking on the. By clicking on which the visitor will be able to contact the account specified. Oh, Telegram. Okay, I just had some today ask me if I use Telegram. Um, main features of the module. List text here, easy to use. List text here, a wide list of, of it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they just uh, they fill out some fields. Something's not quite right displaying there. Um... Let's go to the directory listing. Maybe they have a demo. They do have a demo. Module settings, your telegram login. Button size, da, 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 basic. And oh, here we go. We've got the little button down here. And it opens, oh, that's the link to telegram. So the demo is the settings there, but it's not necessarily on the site. Okay, and I don't, let's see, Joomla modules. Let's see what else they've got here. Add videos from the social networking site, Facebook. Oh, that's cool. That's free, that's neat. Uh, Pinterest board, this one, IWS by, oh, widget app vk or oh, vk that's a that's like um yeah vk is i think that's like the russian facebook isn't it a bunch of widgets here. okay cool juma component uh, let's see their paid juma modules telegram button video from facebook Okay, so they must have uh, some, oh, Viber. I haven't used Viber in a while. Article widget. Oh, okay. Mary says she recently got this from Rude uh, from OCH because you need, you need Telegram share button and you can code others. Okay, let's take a look at that. Uh, let's just see what they've got for components. Simple, oh, simple restaurant menu. Joomla 3. Subcategory. Okay. All right, let's see what Mary's got here. I need to uh, click on that. And... Okay. Oh yeah. OCHJ socials from uh, online community hub. And it says Joomla 4 release candidate for ready. I wonder if that's out of date. 
but you can add different buttons. What you're saying, Mary, is that you can, uh, you need a Telegram but share button and you can code others. All right, so you can put other buttons on there. Cool. I've used just the existing ones, but uh, that's great that you can code other buttons that you want to use. Good. All right, uh, extensions, let's go back. What else is new here? Oops, extensions. No, that's not what I want to do. Extensions install from the web. Recently updated. No, not recently updated. Newest first. Ship station from Heike Shop. I think we saw that. Um, let's just see here. Does it show when it came was released? Mary has some uh, rebel clients want to use the millions of social media outlets we now have. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot out there. Uh, let's see. Let's see when this was released. Maybe it doesn't say. All right. Well, let's go back, which means I'm going to have to extensions, install extensions, install from web, and newest first. Okay. There we go. Open a new tab. Did we look at this one? Oh, there, January 16th, three days ago. There we go. A marquee scroller go, um, crawls the images left to right. Let's see, let's see the demo. Oh, oh, nice. It scrolls based on where your mouse is. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's got nice instructions for installing it. All right. All right. Moving image slider. I wonder if that's the same. Yeah, that's the same people. Oh, slide. Okay, so it's got some script in there. Got your Ken Burns effect. It's nice that they're doing a good job showing the options here. Um, it looks like it just pulls them from an image folder. That's kind of nice. Uh, AA Weber opt-in widget. What's AA up to? When is this being new? Three days ago as well. Hey, look at this. Want to learn how to use Joomla? Enter your email below to get started. Oh, it's an AA Weber opt-in form. I guess AA Weber must be. Is that a newsletter? A.A. Weber. Oh, that's probably his. Is that his extension? Let's go to A.A. Extensions. And let's see. He has so many extensions. A.A. Weber. Let's go. A.A. Weber. Oh, Tassels has an add-on for it. And this is the, um, oh, it's a, oh, okay. So it's a, it's a service. Is it my, it's newsletter or email or something like that, right? Okay. Tassels has a, an add-on for it as well that you can, uh, you can put on as well. Wonder how much it is. Twenty nine euros. 
I think he's married now, so he he really needs the money. Um, all right. JMG workflow, and we saw that last time. We were uh, we saw that on a live stream live stream last time, and that's a new one. We'll go by the date. Yeah, three weeks ago. Yeah, so a couple of new ones. Little ones added there. Uh, there's some big ones that are still. Uh, I know that people are watching for uh, to become Joomla four compatible. Uh, there's some Joomla Shack stuff people are looking for. Like I think OS Campus. I know uh, um, Tech Joomla's Shika LMS. They're not out with Joomla four. Uh, they're not Joomla four compatible yet. Um, J two store is not uh, it doesn't is not out for J J four yet. Um, I believe next week, unless one of the guests that I keep uh, haranguing, oh I don't really harangue them, but uh, end up having uh, coming on doing a stream, we'll probably do the uh, Folka Cart. Ex uh, we'll probably do the Folka Cart extension. Uh, look next week a, a re a relook at it so um that is i think that is ready for juma 4 although it might be it might still be beta i'm not sure we'll have to see anyways um yeah so i think that that will wrap it up for today thanks everybody for tuning in apologize again for being late but um at least I figured out only a couple minutes into it that uh, nobody was there because I had uh, accidentally duplicated a stream that was unpublished. Or, uh, uh, yeah, unpublished, so people couldn't see it. So, anyways. Um, I hope... Let's see. There we go. So, I hope that wherever you are, wherever this finds you, be it morning, afternoon, evening, or tomorrow that this finds you well and safe and uh thanks for spending time with me today appreciate it always enjoy it uh until the next time enjoy your juma sites and god bless <laughs>